Peggy 3. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today, and welcome to the world of Double Cross. In this game, you play as Zara, a rift agent responsible for investigating interdimensional crimes and disturbances found throughout the multiverse. As you play through the game, hunting down clues and tracking down bad guys, you'll be able to upgrade Zara's toolkit and abilities. My name is Tom, lead designer here at 13AM Games, and in this video, I'll be giving you the rundown of exactly how to unlock these upgrades and tailor them to your playstyle. Let's get into it. During your interdimensional travels, you'll come across the mysterious, powerful, and aptly named substance, Upgradium. That's right, Upgradium. These floating purple crystals of raw energy can be found everywhere, sometimes in plain sight, sometimes behind a group of enemies, and sometimes hidden deep in a mission's nooks and crannies. The amount of Upgradium in each mission can be seen in both the mission select screen as well as the pause menu during a mission. Both indicate where in the level the upgradium is relative to one another, letting you know if you've missed one as you complete your mission. At the end of each mission, the upgradium that you've collected is added to your total. Once you've collected enough, Zara will level up and new upgrades will become unlocked. The higher the level, the more game-changing the upgrades become. Now that we have a few upgrades unlocked, let's go over how to utilize them. To view and equip upgrades, you can visit any of the terminals found throughout the game, like this one here in the Portal Room of Rift. You can even change your loadout mid-level if you feel your current one isn't working out for you, or if you're trying to plan an optimal route through a mission you're having a hard time with. Once you reach a terminal and interact with it, you'll see that your upgrades are split into two types, equipables and permanents. Equipables do things that enhance Zara's toolkit, for example, giving her more energy or granting her a temporary shield. Up to three of these can be equipped at any time and in any combination. You can try mixing and matching to find out what suits your playstyle the best. Permanents upgrade Zara's combat abilities and increase her overall health. As that name implies, once they are unlocked, you will have access to them at all times. To demonstrate some of these upgrades, I'll go through three different examples in action. First, we have the shield. This upgrade will grant you a regenerating shield that will absorb one incoming attack, as seen here as this Rex tries to chomp down on Zara. Second, we have the Energy Radar. This upgrade causes the energy orbs dropped by defeated enemies to attract directly towards Zara. This ensures you don't miss any of the valuable resource as you combat large amounts of enemies in large spaces. Lastly, we have Healing Factor. This upgrade increases how quickly you can recover your health while healing. Very important for keeping on the move while keeping healthy. And that's all there is to it. Let's recap the three main points. Number one, find and collect upgradium scattered throughout the missions of your investigation. Number two, collect enough to level up and unlock equipable and permanent upgrades. Number three, visit any terminal in the game to equip and change your upgrade loadout to suit your current mission's needs. Thanks again for watching this video. Two more will be uploaded with regards to the investigation system, as well as overviews of the dimensions you'll be visiting in Double Cross, coming to Switch and Steam January 2019.